great stories. Were man. there anybody on the Breakfast Club that you really did? I mean, they didn't love working with, or were oh, no, was no, everybody no, no, just no. great? Oh no, we all got along. It was cool. But what was funny at the time was me and Molly were kids, man. We were sixteen, so we had like homework. We had to go back to the hotel, <laughs> the Skokie Hilton or whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> And then Judd and Emilia would go out and hang out. They'd go have beers and whatever. Because they were like, you know, I don't know, 35 when they did the film. No, no. They were in their early 20s. So Molly and I had homework and Judd and, and Emilia hung out. But we loved each other, man. We all got along great. I looked up to all of them to this day. I love Do you Allie. still talk to them ever? I haven't spoken. I ran into Judd a couple of years ago. He's great. He's got a great sense of humor, man. Judd's funny. Emilio, I haven't seen that much. Um, Allie, I've seen over the years. The last time we were all reunited is when Mr. Hughes passed, 2010, man. We had the Oscar thing where they paid tribute to right, him. Right, right. So I thought that was very classy of the Oscars to do that. Because as you know, they don't often you know, acknowledge comedies as it were. So, right. Yeah. But Molly, you still, every once in a while, or it's been a while since you talked to her. Yeah, no, it's been a couple of years since I've spoken to her. But she's cool. Very happily married. She's got a bunch of kids. She's doing great. You know, uh, the janitor. Um, oh, Kapalos. Kapalos. Yeah. Brother John Kapalos, a he, great guy. He was, I did this show a couple of years back, and he was a guest star, and we hit yeah. it off. Yeah. And he came over and karaoke with his girlfriend. Oh, great. He came to the house and karaoke. What so, a funny guy. He is. He is. So watch this. I produced a film this summer with a, a writer-director named Nick Salozzi, and it's not a remake, but it's an updated kind of reimagining of The Breakfast Club. Anyway, we got, we got Kapalos yeah. in. Oh, wow. So Kapalos showed up. He's a great guy. So... Uh, and a great comedic actor. He's yeah. great. Yeah. Now, how do you go from John Hughes to Tim Burton? Now, Tim Burton seems like it's got to be, hes I'm sure he's a great guy. He is. But it's yeah. got to be a different way of working. Well, at the time when that came up, this is Edward like, Scissorhands. Yeah, 1989, shit. man. Uh, so I went to go meet with him. And Tim, you remember the remember the cure? He looked like a lost member of the cure, right? He had the hair. and <laughs> Yes, yes. And I remember when I went to his Robert office. Smith. Yeah, yeah, Robert Smith. He had the leg up in the chair and. He was kind of twirling his hair and shit and really interesting guy. Very shy, actually. I'm very unassuming and very cool. And But he really comes to life when he directs. So he hired me for scissor hands. I auditioned for him in a room and, and that was a great experience too, man. Um, okay, I have a theory about Tim Burton. I think he is Edward Scissorhands. And here's why. <laughs> here's why. I'll explain. Please do. Okay, I'll explain. He grew up in, uh, in Burbank. He was a student of animation. His favorite actor was Vincent Price, right? Uh. And just, I, I, I look at him like a modern day Disney and beyond. I mean, you look at his films, they're works of art, man. Yeah. And he's one of those, fu you know, like rare auteurs, great directors where he really has a look and feel of his movies. And they get more and more brilliant since then, right? I mean, he yeah. went on to do another seven movies or whatever with Johnny Depp, right? Yeah. So I just loved Tim Burton, man. And I think at the time he felt, I think he probably thought it was kind of funny because I had sprouted up and it was a bigger guy. And then yeah, all of yeah. a sudden, you know, and Johnny was like, you know, uh, you know, to play that bully. I think he kind of thought it was a fun idea at the time. So great experience. We shot in Tampa, Florida. At the time, Johnny was with Winona and they were in right. love and all that. 